<laughs> Hi, I'm Joshua Verne, and I play the roles of George and also George in Sunday in the Park with George. <laughs> My name is Alana Kubfleisch, and I play Act One, George's mistress, Dot, and Act Two, George's grandmother, Marie. <laughs> Dot is this young girl who is kind of like the girl who always wants to date musicians because she thinks maybe one day they'll write like a hit song about her and then she'll kind of be famous. Um, but taking it back like 200 years, mm -hmm. she's uh, wanting to date only artists. So only like sculptors and painters. So maybe one day they'll make a hit painting and she'll be the star of the painting. Um, so that's kind of who she is. She has that desire to want to be loved uh, and I think that's relatable. I, I mean, everybody has that. Um, everybody wants attention, especially mm -hmm. actors. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's a reason we get up there. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I think she's really sweet and kind too, which is exciting to see that she wants so badly to be loved and to love, but she also is really demure and doesn't really know how to act. She's just young. She's naive, hmm. um, which is kind of hard to play because she has some really profound lines. And so it's kind of hard to put that naivete behind those really wise words. But I don't know. I think that's what makes her so interesting. She has a unique balance. The more challenging aspects of the uh, production, we could start with the very obvious uh, vocally, it's a beast. Yeah, it yeah. is a monster of a challenge. I'd say my challenge is just the sheer expectation that's been set. I mean, the people that originated these roles, and even since then, are pretty iconic. I mean, Bernadette Peters mm -hmm. and Mandy Patinkin, um, those are names that are hard to live up to. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the hardest thing has been to kind of take what they've done and build on that or even just completely start from scratch. Um, that's been really challenging because, you know, we all grew up listening to the score uh, on cassettes <laughs> and they, it's kind of like imprinted in you. Mm -hmm. um, so it's been difficult to kind of stray from that and to think of new ideas and what else could this text mean and what else could this score do how else could I vocally uh, convey a particular emotion that maybe they weren't conveying in the original score? Tell me not to go. Say it to me. Most of the things that Dot says to the audience, she's really actually just thinking herself. She doesn't have a lot of moments where she is in the moment talking to somebody on stage. It's most of the time just this, these are my thoughts. So that has been challenging too, figuring out a way to be introspective while mm -hmm. telling it to a room of 250 people. Right now I am obsessed, and I do not use that word lightly, obsessed <laughs> with the character old lady. Um, Chrissy Welty, seriously? <laughs> like breaks my heart every time she opens her mouth. I mean, oh my gosh, she has the most incredible soprano voice um, and just her subtleties in the way that she, I mean, you get to actually yeah. be on stage with her. I don't really ever get to interact with her, but watching her with you mm -hmm. is just so powerful. And she has these moments of confusion mixed with love, mixed with um, hope mixed with God, just everything. And it she's brilliant. Somehow all comes together and to be beautiful, which is the name of the song that she mm -hmm. sings with Josh. Um, she's wonderful. I also really love just one of the last lines of the show is from a song called move on. And it's at the very end. And it's every time that I hear it, it's just so powerful for me. Um, because it kind of encompasses everything that you want to think as an artist when you wake mm -hmm. up in the morning, like this is what you kind of want to tell yourself. Mm -hmm. um, and it's anything you do, let it come from you, then it will be new. Give us more to see, which is like, oh, 
so powerful to think of. And, and I mean, like you said, anybody who has any creative or artistic inclination is going to relate to that and is going to relate to looking at themselves in the mirror and saying that to themselves. So it's it's a, yeah, a very powerful experience.